All right, it's Tuesday morning, day two of the United Pacific Week to Wicked, presented by CPP, and we got a bunch of stuff to do today. We're gonna finish up the suspension, brake lines, put the master in, and uh, dial this thing in. Yeah. yeah. Maybe fuel system? Yeah, fuel system too. Fuel system. So good call, Christian. Thanks for the input. All right, so with that said, the boys from CPP are here. They're itching to get going, and uh, we're gonna get out of the way so we can get cracking. All right, so we're removing the inner fender so we can get to the steering a lot easier. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Yeah, we're gonna replace it. And it's gone. Look at that. There you go. All right, so I'm prepping the intake manifold for Ryan. He's gonna put on the ZZ6 engine by Dandrew Chevrolet. Usually we do like a single throttle body. This time we opted out in using a two by four or a like dual quad setup. Um, instead of using carburetors, we're gonna use fuel injection. Holly sent us over two sniper units, which will bolt right onto this. It'll give it that cool kind of old look. And it's a little bit something different for the field. So let me finish up here, give it to Ryan, and he'll be on his way. Put her face down across the bench. All right, cool. Let's prep this new bumper, get the parking light housings mounted into it, and uh, get it back up on the truck. Cool. This is Mike with CPP. Right now, we're getting ready to install the e-stop parking brake. And uh, I've already started mocking it up, so I'm going to get into mounting it. All right, John, see if that thing fits in there now. And on center, left and right. Yeah. Somehow Ryan started this whole engine swap, pulley installation, manifold, and now I'm doing all the work. Okay, well that about does it for mounting the first part of the e-stop and now I'm going to continue the brackets down um, to engage the cables. That is the water pump for our serpentine kit. We had to take the stock pump off because it doesn't have the reverse rotation for the serpentine. All right, so we've got the CPP steering box. We're about to mount it up. Where's that go? Three, one, seven. All right, next is the rag joint, which goes uh, one way there. You got one bolt. Does it fit like that? Yeah. Look at, the, look, at, look at the picture I showed you. Where's the picture? Okay, so I, I think it goes that way. It does go this yeah. way. Don't, see, I have legitimate questions to ask. And I'm, I'm, I understand this needs to be lined up with this, and this needs to go here but I can flip it in two different directions and it will still bolt up. Did I tell you to flip it? You didn't tell me to, which way to put it on. I said, you said install lower on. pulley. Yeah. Idler pulley. Yeah, but then I need to know which way to go. If I, if I wanted you to flip it, I'd have told you to flip it. Is that how this works? It's like working with your dad. No, my dad would Did I tell you how to do that? No. no. Right, you know don't do it that way. You can't do You're that, stupid. Idiot. What are you doing? Give me that. Give me that. Stupid. You idiot. Just you don't get off that chair and go away. Why well, you got so many stickers on this motor anyways? Just go, go, go. Just go back inside with your mom. Help her cook dinner or something. <laughs> the, the, the unwillingness to try at I, all. I try, try, and try again. We're just getting ready to wrap up the e-stop here. And uh, one really nice part about this was using our, our universal e-brake kit. However, when it came to drilling into this frame rail, I really had a difficult time. And, and I just couldn't figure it out for the life of me until I realized that on the inside of this frame rail, there was another plate. Yeah, Mike, this truck used to be a long bit. Makes sense. And uh, we did a uh, step weld right here. Uh, that's where the frame was welded back together from the long bed to short bed frame rail conversion. And uh, 
So we used our uh, United Pacific bed sides too to, to shorten up the bed. Uh, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. The long belt. Here we go. Here comes shenanigans. <laughs> Are you uh, Suzanne Summers? <laughs> There it is. Done. So the electronic parking brake is now completed. Um, we're just going to go ahead and hook it up to a battery and test it real quick. Go ahead, Christian. Oh, Looks that. great. Ten and a half. Five eight. We need a five eight. So yeah, it's going to only go halfway. There you go. It's a little bit tight getting it through. We saved the trickiest part for last. Look at her. So here's how the gas cap goes on. These are the CPP motor mounts that we're going to use. Uh, they're urethane and they will match up to their uh, pedestals, I believe that's what they call them, um, that actually go to the cross member. So everything should be in place and where the motor needs to sit, and we should be good to go once we get that engine and trans in there. Oh. That's about straight. Yeah. So okay. we'll you mind if I put mine in now, dear? Yeah, get yours in, get it started. Close, uh, hold. Am I? Okay. You got the, this inner one started a socket or something else to get, get that secure. It's got wide and narrow flats, they have one side. Yeah. All the space is wrong, and the drill all the spacing out. These are the holes that were already in the frame and then a long slot. So just putting a pin mark on the outside will make sure we miss. Bent up. It's off, right? What are we looking for? You good? Just go. Yeah, you're good. I'll tell you we'll what's tell up, Roth. Stop! Yeah, I saw you. That, was, that wasn't a good test. Okay. Now I want you to Spin the forklift 180 degrees to the left. So to power our C10, we are using a ZZ6 small block Chevrolet motor from Gandrid Chevrolet. This is one of the most powerful crate engines offered as a, in the small block family anyways. Uh, rated at 405 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. In fact, it's uh, more powerful than any small block Chevy offered in a muscle a core for a Corvette package. Right so really this is basically a, a hot rotted 350 engine yeah. straight out of the Chevrolet warehouse. Got it. Uh, hello. All right, so we got the engine installed. Christian and I are getting ready to install the GearStar transmission. You know, a lot of times we run the 4L60s or 4L80Es. This time we're gonna run with a 700R4 trans. Um, you give Zach over at GearStar every spec you need from horsepower, tire size, gear ratio, he'll build you a perfect transmission. Um, some of the perks with these transmissions, already got a Dash 6 fitting in here, that way you run your lines right off of that. Comes with everything from your TV cable to your shroud, uh, trans cooler, all the hardware. So all that's left for us to do, get this thing pulled up that engine, measure for a drive shaft, and we'll have a drive train completed. All right, so it is the end of day two, and well, brake lines are done, fuel lines are plumbed. Uh, all the steering and uh, suspension brakes are in, so that's a good thing. We did end up getting the engine and trans in. I like that, the pulley system's on. Um, we're a little behind, but not too bad. We're, we worked a little bit later tonight than we did uh, yesterday, but we'll come in early, catch up on a few things, and I think we'll be back on track by tomorrow night. So with that being said, Christian, how about we get out of here? Let's do it. <laughs>